الصناعات السياحية في مصر أنماط متنوعة لا تعد ولا تحصى لكن كمان اسكندرية معروفة ببحرها البحر المتوسط لكن مش ده بس النمط السياحي الوحيد الموجود في اسكندرية سياحة ثقافية أيضا موجودة في اسكندرية واسكندرية غنية بالآثار اليونانية والرومانية خاصة في منطقة آثار كوم الدكة إلى جانب يجوا من كل الأماكن عشان يزوروا المسرح الروماني يا ترى هنشوف إيه النهاردة هنعرف تفاصيل أكتر عن المكان وكمان هنشوف زوار هذا المكان فتابعونا ودنيا السياحة تعتبر فيلا تيور من أقدم النماذج السكنية للعصر الروماني تتميز بلوحة الفسيفساء وأيضا سكان هذا المكان اهتموا بزخرفته أكثر من مرة بالتأكيد هو مكان أثري لي أهمية هنعرف أكتر عنه من خلال لقائنا مع أستاذة دعاء أبو ريا وهي مفتش آثار بمنطقة آثار كوم الدكة أهلا بحضرتك منورين منطقة دينا فكرة عن آثار كوم الدكة وأشهر الرموز الأثرية الموجودة في منطقة آثار كوم الدكة هو منطقة آثار كوم الدكة طبعا بيرجع تاريخها للقرن الرابع الميلادي أو بنائها فترة بنائها القرن الرابع الميلادي في عهد الإمبراطور هادريان لكن تم اكتشافها فعليا على يد البعثة البولندية لآثار البحر المتوسط لجامعة وارسو بالاشتراك مع مصلحة مصرح الآثار المصرية وقتها اللي هي وزارة الآثار طبعا حاليا وده كان سنة 1960 جميل جدا اكتشفوا طبعا في البداية طبعا المسرح طبعا المنطقه تسميتها في البدايه جت بناء على ان كان محمد علي بيقوم بحفر ترعه المحموديه تمام وفي وقت الحفر ده كان بيكدس اكوام من التراب والمخلفات في المنطقه فطبعا المنطقه بقى عليها كومات وتكدسات كبيره فعشان كده اتسمت منطقه اثار كوم الدكه فبعد كده جم يحفروا مبنى او حكومي في المنطقة أو يبنوا مبنى حكومي فابتدت الآلات تعمل عمليات حفر في المنطقة طبعا من خلال الحفر وجدوا أن في حجر أو في حاجة قوية جدا جامدة تحت الأرض بتصد الآلات أن هي تنزل وتحفر فابتدوا يكتشفوا بيشوفوا بقى إيه اللي موجود فلقوا طبعا أنقاض وأثار اللي هي موجودة بتاعة المسرح الروماني كلها أو منطقة الأثار بتاعة كوم الدكة كلها طبعا ابتدت بالمسرح الروماني وكان بيقولي استخدامات عديدة منها طبعا استخدامات الحفلات الموسيقية وبعد كده كان بيستخدم كقاعة للدراسة وبعدها في العصور البيزنطية والإسلامية ابتدى يستخدم عبارة عن ساحة للمناقشات السياسية يعني احنا احنا اتكلمنا عن مسرح روماني لكن انا عايزة اتكلم عن بقية الأثار وخاصة المكان اللي احنا فيه ده طبعا اسمه فيلا الطيور كويس فيلا الطيور دي طبعا فيلا عادية يعني مملوكة لشخص أو لخاصة أو عالية القوم في الوقت ده طبعا بيرجع تاريخ هي ضمن الحي السكني الحي السكني اللي احنا شايفينه قدامنا الأنقاض الموجودة قدام حضرتك دي ده كان مجموعة من الفيلات من القرن الرابع للقرن الثاني الميلادي طبعا عندنا الحمامات الرومانية والحمامات الرومانية دي طبعا كانت اللي بتستخدم لعالية القوم في العصر الروماني وهي عبارة عن غرفة للبخار وغرفة للماء البارد وغرفة للماء الساخن موجودة في الحي السكني قبل الحي السكني ما بين الحي السكني وغرفة آه. بالظبط طب الفيلا بقى الفيلا طبعا زي ما قلنا من انقاض الحي السكني ومجموعه من الفيلات من القرن الاول للقرن الثالث الميلادي وهنا الفيلا زي ما احنا شايفين او المتحف للموزايك في مصر الارضيات بتاعتها كلها من الموزايك طبعا دي ربع الفيلا الاصليه مش الفيلا كامله بقيه الفيلا طبعا ممتده بعد كده بشويه عند مكان طبعا عند المطافي لكن طبعا ما ينفعش ان احنا نعمل اكتشاف فيها لان طبعا المكان ده بقى له 100 سنه او المطافي ده فطبعا اصبح اثر مش هينفع ان احنا نهد الاثر عشان نكمل بقيه الفيلا او نستخرج الفيلا طبعا زي ما حضرتك شايفه دي حجره الطعام حجره الطعام زي ما احنا شايفين معموله كده من الفسيفساء او الموزايك وده جزء من تمثال تم اكتشافه في المكان لاصحاب المكان وهنا عندنا الاواني الفخاريه الموجوده دي بتستخدم اواني للماء والسوائل تم اكتشافها في المكان هنا عندنا ارضيه الزهره موزايك الزهره وعندنا ارضيه الطيور اللي اتسمت الفيلا على اسمها فيلا الطيور وبعد كده في ارضيه الفهد او النمر بتتوسطها شو صوره على شكل فهد او نمر طب هي الفيلا مش متكامله يعني فين الغرف النوم وكده هل كان في دور فوق لا هو مش دور فوق ولا حاجه هي ممتده مش ممكن غرف انهم فين ممتده الغرف لجزء بعد كده تاني يعني في جزء اه في جزء مش مكتمله مش مكتمله يعني آه يعني آه بالنسبه للفيلا دي ازاي تم استثمارها سياحيا والله يا صحيح سياحين تم الترميم فيها طبعا لان هي مكتشفه زي ما قلنا من التمن في الثمانينات فتره الثمانينات لحد ما تم تم الترميم فيها وفتره التسعينات وتم الافتتاحها سنه 2000 
بعد ما كان تم الترميم على يد البعثه البولنديه لاثار البحر المتوسط وهم لسه على فكره موجودين في المكان وبيكملوا ترميم لسه موجودين لحد دلوقتي تاكيد باع طويل ليهم في هذه في هذه الاكتشافات او الاستكشافات الى اي مدى كانت هذه البعثه وهي بعثه بولنديه مصريه مؤثره ومحافظه على الاثار وليها دور في الترميم كل ده هنعرفه من خلال لقائنا ويلكم ان ايجيبت ثانك يو I know you are not living in Poland. You are living in Poland and Egypt yes. in the same time in Alexandria. <coughs> Half of the time I spent here. This, really? is, this is this is my another home. This is a place where I work and this is a place where I live. The other half I spent uh, back in Warsaw at the mm -hmm. university. You remember the first time you've been in Egypt? First time you come here? Well, it was so long ago, but yes, I do remember that the first time. It was early in the morning, and what I remember from that time, it was the special you know um, smell of, of of egypt that i will never forget and whenever it was the smell of morning coffee simply <laughs> uh, when it was oh it was at uh, the cairo airport of course yeah and and uh, what is the time is it uh, since uh, how many years well it was 40 years ago uh, time is 40 40 40 years, 40 years ago So and since this time you, you living here and in Poland and discovering a lot of antiquities, right? Well, yes, you know I've been first I came here to study to do some research and then over years I have become uh, <coughs> in 2001 I have become director of the project here yeah. uh, and I'm directing now uh, our project our mission in, in both ways so because we have uh, we have archaeological research we are searching for Uh, for ancient Alexandria, but at the same time we have also um, a restoration program. So we are trying to restore things that we have discovered, all the monuments of architecture of ancient past. We are trying to bring, bring back, let's say, the former glory back to the ancient city of Alexandria. What is the most well-known and famous pieces you, re you make a restoration for? Well, I think the best one, it was done before I be came here, it was in the 1960s. This was the theater, uh, the only one. Theater? Yes. The only one in Egypt, the only one in Alexandria, it yes. was found there. After that, since um, quite recently, there were some more theaters found, but it was the first one and the only one in Alexandria. It needs a lot of process for restoration? Well, it takes time. It yeah. takes an effort. How, how, lo how long does it take? This was done uh, in uh, rather quickly, I must admit, the theater. It was done in uh, four years only, but with the great efforts of, of Polish and Egyptian specialists, Egyptian workers, engineers, restorers, archaeologists, artists, photographers, you name, whatever you name. Yeah. And, uh, and then there is another piece. I, I know that the theater is the most uh, well-known and famous, and even the region is called theater, the Roman theater region. But uh, there is a villa, there is a different places. Do you have a, a, a real role in restore, restoring these things, uh, discovering these things, and what are the steps? Well, as I said, you know, first thing is to uncover things, to dig them out from the earth. This is it where... It takes effort. It takes effort, and usually it takes time, because, you know, you should do it patiently. Uh, the financial, the is it expensive? Maybe not so much, but it takes some money that uh, are granted mostly by university, th this time University of Warsaw, naturally, and by various donors from all over the world even. But the most expensive is restoration, because you need the, the first-class material, you need the specialist and everything, so restoration is certainly something like a financial burden. But then the results are you know, admired by, by the visitors here. But The people who are responsible for this restoration scientifically and manually and tec technically, uh, is it all Polish or Egyptian and, or mixing f all over the world? Well, there's a mix of Polish and Egyptian uh, specialists, basically, but there are also some other people from, from other countries when we need some specific specialists. Experts. Yes, something yeah. like that. So we ask for, for help from other countries also. Um, I'm talking to you as a scientist uh, uh, responsible and uh, very uh, well known in this field uh, and also researcher. Yes. Yeah. So when you're talking about the Egyptian antiquities mm -hmm. from your point of view and from the, the point of your research, mm -hmm. how far could we invest them for the sake of tourism? Well, I think that's... The, that's you know, Egypt is the special case. You know, this is the country that we used to call 
as why? archaeologists, why? We, we used to call it an Eldorado because, you know, mm. for archaeologists is, some, is a place, the only c country in, in the world when you can come, you can find everything for, for someone. You know, someone specializing in mosaics, you have mosaics in Egypt. Someone specializing in pottery, you have pottery in Egypt, a lot of it. Well, to say nothing about the Egyptology, because this is only the only place where you can, <laughs> you can pursue the, the Egyptological career. Yeah. Nowhere but in Egypt. But different periods. And you are interested in classical archaeology, you will find it in Egypt. If you are interested in prehistory, you will find it in Egypt. If you want to, to, to study the settlements in the desert, you will find it in Egypt. You will find everything here. And even two seas. And even two seas, naturally. Yeah, the white, white and, and, and the red. Yeah. Yes, exactly. And what about the climate? Well, the climate is, you know, we are in Alexandria somehow, you know, uh, privileged because the climate clearly is mild, you know, yeah. but I think that our colleagues uh, who work in Upper Egypt wow. uh, suffer a bit from uh, great temperatures. Summer only. Summer only, yes, mm. naturally. This is why they work usually in, in winter time. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Um, individually, living in Alexandria, mm. and uh, of course uh, trying food and trying and dealing with people and uh, going uh, a work in different streets. What's your impression about Alexandria as a tourist place? Well, you see, for us, the life here is easy going, you know, because first of all, people are welcome to the, to the foreigners, you know. Sometimes even if, because we are living for a long time here, so we do not feel like foreigners. But anyway, you know, life is easy going here because you, you, you will find everywhere someone who, who is going to help you if you need any help, naturally. So this is something that, uh, that I, we you all do appreciate. Um, I, I need a lot of hours to have interview because you are a very precious person. But I'm sorry for uh, because I, you have a lot of work I know. So finally, I need a message from you to all, to people all over the world, not only Poland, because you're living here and you, you you have a lot of experience in everything here. So what is the message could you send to all over the world about Egypt, about the antiquities, about the diversity of culture here? Well, I think that we the people all over the world, we should take care of the heritage, of the most important heritage that Egypt gave to all humanity, and we should take care of its past, we should take care of its monument, and we can help it in many ways, you know, uh, promoting tourism, cultural tourism, is one of the way to, to help to keep up Egyptian monuments in, in, in safe. All over the world. Full of it's, it's a universal uh, heritage. Exactly. Thank you. It gives me pleasure to have you in my program. Thanks for this interview. The pleasure is mine, ma'am. In Iskandaria, Medina, Raya, Gaziba, and Siyaha, and Mohtanaf, and Hail Alam. We are in the first time in the Iskandaria, and we are in the first time in the Iskandaria. We are in the first time in the Nice to meet you, lady. What's your name, please? Susan. Susan, welcome. What's your nationality? I'm from the United States. You're welcome. Is it a long vacation or short vacation? Um, three weeks. Three weeks. Very short. Hello, how are you? Hello, Mr. Muhammad Abdullah. I'm the Murshid of the Siyahi with them. How are you? How are you? I'm six, three from Skandaria and the rest of the day today, inshallah. Is it one or two? No, no. Individuals, ما ما يعرفوش بعض بس هم آه آه لسه تحيت قبل النهاردة ده أول يوم يتقبل سوزان ويقبلوا بقية الناس اللي جم النهاردة. تمام. You coming from United States from America just alone or you have friends or? Um, so my daughter will be meeting me here today. Really gorgeous. Yes. Your daughter is in Cairo. Um, she's on the plane heading to Cairo. Yeah, yeah. Have you been to Cairo? Not yet. Um, so we started in Cairo, but I just arrived yesterday, so I haven't really done anything in Cairo. Uh, can yeah. I guess? Can I guess that uh, this uh, visit is not the first one? It is my first one. Really? I S wanted to come here all my life. Yeah. So wh why it's not early? Um, Maybe you're going to another country? Because of my work. Yeah. I had. Um, Restrictions on yeah, busy, busy. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, what's your impression about Egypt? Three weeks. Uh, how far you have been here? Have you spent a lot of three weeks? So this uh, this is my first day. First day. Yes. At Alexandria. First day. Why in Why in Alexandria? Why you choose Alexandria for the first? Day? Because it's um, 
Cleopatra and uh, Alexander, and it's the mix of cultures that are peacefully coexisting, which is so amazing. How do you know that? Have you read a lot? Uh, someone recommended for you? I, I am a scientist. I do research. <laughs> wow, scientists. Which field? Um, aviation. I, yeah, coor- really? I coordinate launches and, wow. and design launches. satellites. So, um, first day at Alexandria, of course you have a program, how, how many days you spend here in Alexandria? So only one day today, yeah, then, too, then, too we, then we do the Nile cruise. Yeah, Nile cruise uh, yeah, tomorrow? Tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Luxor and Aswan. Yes. Yeah, gorgeous. So, uh, what are the places you choose for just one day in Alexandria to visit? Well, the catacombs, of course. And Pompey's Pillar, which is kind of fascinating because Pompey was never here. Yeah. And um, I love the, uh, I'm sorry, the architecture yeah. of the of the amphitheaters. Yeah. And after that, we're going to the National Museum oh and yes. we library. The library on the way. Yes, back. I absolutely want to see the library. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's what Alexandria is. It's the library. Yeah. It's the essence of culture. I know. رايت right. مهمتك صعبه جدا يا فندم لان معاك عالمه <تصفيق> يعني لا ما احنا بيجينا نوعيات مختلفه بس هي اريا كويس وفاهم واضح معلوماتها يعني هي جايه فاهمه وعارفه هي عايزه ايه فحتى وانا بتكلم بتاد يعني بتضيف لك كيف وات اب وات اب وات ذيس وات اب وات ذات سان شي نوز ا لوت شي نوز ا لوت اند شي ريد اي سيد تو هيم ذات هيز ميشن از فيري ديفيكولت ويز ساينتست <laughs> and I know that all I enjoy her company and yeah. she she make the tour uh, learn something new <laughs> <laughs> exactly <laughs> every day all you have to know something new every day you have to know a new word that's uh, fixed program دول المكتبة المكتبة لو بتبقى فاتحة أو موعدها بتبقى مناسبة أخبار البحر إيه؟ يعني الأجانب ما بيحبوش يقعدوا على البحر المتوسط زي ما بيعملوا في البحر الأحمر؟ لا هم اللي بييجوا في اللي إحنا بنشتغل معاهم كالتشرال يعني جايين عايزين سايت سينج عن زيارات آثار I'm asking about Mediterranean because the people going to Hurghada and Sharm el-Sheikh always eager to have sight seeing and Red Sea, coral reefs. I know there, there is no coral reefs here but maybe there is a monument under the sea. Do you have this information as a scientist or not? So it's really fascinating um, the rise and, and uh, fall of the levels of the sea because of earthquakes and, and tectonic plate shifts. So things that were, um, I went to Turkey and I saw a port city that was now 10 miles from the sea. Wow. But when it was, it was on the sea. You have a wedding ceremony under, in the ground, of the, oh. under the sea, in the profound, oh. yeah, but in Shamshi. But عارف المعلومه لا the thing that is the best here though is the people the people are so wonderful and so helpful yeah. i just i just love Thank the you. culture here Thank you. يعني اللقاء معاه ممتع جدا فعلا قدر كبير من العلم والثقافه وحضرتك واضح انك قايم بمجهود جامد تقول ايه اللي ما زارش اسكندريه اسكندرية زي ما بيقولوا عروس البحر المتوسط اسكندرية جميلة ناسها جميلة أكلها جميل جوها جميل بالليل اسكندرية تحفة حاجة ما حصلتش يعني كفاية إن أنت مثلا تبقى سايق عربيتك وجنبك البحر مش مش بتفكر في حاجة والجو جميل يعني مفيش حتى الزحمة لو في زحمة بس أنت شايف مية شايف ناس عارف اه بس أنت هتبقى مبسوط جدا إن أنت ماشي بجنبك البحر شايف ناس حلوة بتضحك ناس تتبسط اسكندرية جميلة جوها حلو ناسها حلو أكلها تحفة كل حاجة فيها حلوة. We have a great enthusiasm for his city, which is Alexandria. So what about you? What could you send a message about Alexandria to your people in the United States of America about Alexandria? He he says uh, uh, that the food is very delicious, so you can judge more. So I think that there is nothing in Alexandria that isn't worth exploring. It's just wonderfully cultural, historical. I have not tried the food yet, but I am looking forward to it. And I feel very safe here. I feel safe in all of Egypt. And, and Egypt has such a wide variety of, of history that, and culture that you just got to come and, and enjoy it.
Thank you. It gives me pleasure to have you in my program and hopefully you enjoy your vacation in Alexandria and in Egypt as well. Thank you. Thank you very much. شكرا جزيلا شكرا جزيلا شكرا 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 عشنا معاكم يوم في مدينة الإسكندرية وبالتحديد في المسرح الروماني تعرفنا على الزوار عاشقين هذا المكان الآثار اليونانية الرومانية المسرح الروماني وآثار بيزنطية أيضا موجودة في هذه المنطقة منطقة آثار كوم الدكة إلى اللقاء وحلقة جديدة ودنيا السياحة ومكان جديد